Darth Vader. This one actually, this guys, this one looks good. This looks like the legit thing. The the last generation of Darth Vader that they did for Lego, where they actually made his helmet two pieces. The earlier generations was it made the helmet look too squat. It made him look like he'd been pressed in a vice from legs to head and just squeezed. This one looks far more legit and I'm going to take the helmet off and I'm going to show you. The cape, the cape as you could tell that it's it's knockoff because just the the actual what do you call it, material that's used to make the cape it feels like almost like a rubber, almost like a rubber and a, and like a, and a material combined it does not feel high quality whatsoever. It feels like I could just grab it and tear it with two fingers. Very cheaply made. But the lightsaber itself, the hilt, the rest of him, I'm gonna take him off the board. He feels very solid. The legs again we're having the issue where they just they just come right off. They don't have the same it's a different if you look in the inside there, it's a different locking style than regular Legos have, just slightly, but it's, it just doesn't work, it really doesn't. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's remove the helmet so I can show you about the two-piece, two-part. Okay, and the head, the helmet sticks inside, there we go, there you go, and it can, all right, see, he's got the, he's got bags underneath his eyes, he's not been sleeping well, and carrying that burden, being a dark side user is it's just terrible apparently. It's it's a heck on the sleep schedule, that's for sure. Look at those bags. That's awful. And they all even the detail, even for being a knockoff, even on the back, that detail. That is something else. Scars, everything. The suit itself, the suit itself looks legit. I like it. Looks good. But you can see the two piece that I'm talking about. Turn to the side. There's the bottom piece, just like in the movies. When he takes the helmet off, he has that breathing apparatus thing right there, and then the helmet goes right back on over that. I like it. Again, it's only going to get the highest gate rate. I'm going to give it between because the cape and the way that it just pulls right off the legs is going to be a B. Ashley, what are you going to give that one? I'm going to give that one an A. An A. Generous as ever. All right, come on, pick. Let's keep going. We got a few more to get There's through. There's another Darth Vader. You have Anakin, or not Anakin? Sorry, Kylo Ren. No, 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 Kylo Ren. That was that was sorry. That was a legit one. He's anyway, here. Star all right, Wars. we're gonna do Boba Fett. Stay on the Star Wars wagon for half a second. Boba Fett. Now he looks good for the most part, but I already know some issues that look I mean, this. The arm, the arm just comes, just pops right off. The gun I like. The colors are a bit different. I actually got a. Do I have a keychain that I can match this up to show you the differences? Here we go. You can tell right here. The colors on him are a little bit lighter on the knockoff. A little bit. Here is the legit Lego one. There's a keychain, I know, but legit. And here is the knockoff. The knockoff is a little bit lighter in its coloring. This one's darker, deeper colors. It's just nicer all over. And the cape. The cape is good material, nice material on this one. You can feel it. It feels like a bed sheet almost. Very nice. On the knockoff, however, we have the same thing going on as with that Darth Vader cape where it's like rubbery feels like you can just tear it just by pulling on it a little bit too hard and look at the bottom of the jetpack I came like this only one of the boosters still on that was a bummer that was a bummer but overall the looks the looks match the other one almost completely aside from the saturation of the colors that's about the only thing that the difference on. This one a little bit lighter, this one darker, 
And I like the darker colors on this one. But this one, between the arm falling off, the lighter colors, and the crappy cape that he has, I'm going to go C at the best. What are you going to give it, Ashley? I give him a B. B. Still being generous. Now, going down to our last two. This one, can anybody tell me who this is? I would say leave it down in the comments, but since we're getting right to it, you might as well, I might as well just tell you. This right here, George Lucas. He even has the scene snap cap. Well, I don't even know what you call that thing. I do not know what you call that thing. If you know what, you know what it's called, just leave it down in the comments. But, he's got the scene thing, take whatever, and it, it says scene three on it. Watch out, man. Come sit down. <laughs> This one is the gray hair. He even has. What is he? Yeah. Does he have black? Yep, he's got the glasses on. I don't know if you can see it. That's going to be hard to see because he's so small. There you go. Looks good though. I like him. Overall, he's a pretty good character. As far as quality, he's not pulling apart. He looks 100% legit. This one, in my book, because he does not pull him apart, all of his limbs feel intact. Not the fingers aren't, the, yeah, the hands aren't, I should say, pulling out. Everything feels very solid. In fact, a little bit too solid because the hair wants to pull the rest of his head off. On the back, he does, I, this is weird. Okay, this one's weird. So, I guess on the back is no beard, George Lucas. Okay, so no beard. I don't. Did he, is there a time when he didn't have a beard? I don't know. It just feels weird. I feel like I'm looking at like a. a no, because even the pictures back in the day of him, young George Lucas, he looks. He has a big old burly dark beard before he went gray. Anyway, I'm giving this one an A. This one I like. I think it's hilarious. I think the quality is good. So, overall, for being a knockoff, it, in my book, it definitely gets the two thumbs up. Alright, buddy. Now we got one last one to show you before we wrap it up. Or two, I'm sorry. Two, that's right. We got one, one, one that is kind of a special one. But this one, this is Bishop. Bishop from X-Men. Now, if you read any of the X-Men comics where it deals with going into the future and stuff like that, like Days of Future Past and stuff, Bishop is in there. Bishop, I, I don't know, he might be part of the X-Force with Cable and Deadpool, I'm not sure though, I can don't put me on that one. But he, again, the problem with Bishop, legs come right off, right off, pop right off. But he has the same hair, just the black hair, as the Terminator one has. Kind of like the pompadour going on there. But he's got, he even has the M, like Bishop's supposed to have. He has the M over his eye. You can see that right there. And he's got a scarf around his neck. I love this one. This one is awesome. I'm still gonna, I gotta give it a B because the quality, just the legs pop right off like that. Okay. All right, now last one is the, the okay. piece de resistance, okay. as they say. I'll uh -huh. give him an A. A, you like him? All right, good. Like Bishop from the X-Men. This one. Who do we have here? Cobra Commander. Even came in his own special little box with his own card. Let me get the card in here. What's that called? And his own little stand like the other ones. Cobra Commander. Got his stats and everything like an actual collector's card. This is pretty funny. I like this one. What's the stats say? Strength, agility, intelligence, speed, endurance, additional traits, charismatic plus one, <laughs> sociopathy plus one, firearms plus two, strategic plus three, street smarts plus one, tactics plus two. Okay, so that is pretty funny, man. I like that. But on the front, it's just like a trader's card. <laughs> Cobra Commander. That's the card. Now let me show you the character. The character, again, we're having that issue. Pulls right off of the shorts, but I mean, he looks legit, guys. He really does. 
This one looks legit. The silver head, the, the SS type helmet, got the logo right there, Cobra logo right there, and it, the whole outfit, everything, it's, it's awesome. Even on the back, I mean, they really, they, they knocked the detail on this one. I like it. This is awesome. I'm going to give this one an A just because how, how random this one is for me to see the Cobra Commander when I found it. I said, I got to buy that one. This one was a whole whopping $4 because it came with its own collector's card. Still awesome. Still awesome. I love this one. All right, guys. And that will bring that I to a close. A. You, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You give him an A? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. I give him an A. He gives him an A. So that's four thumbs up total for that guy. Yeah, you having fun with him? Uh -huh. Having fun with the real Thanos and the fake Venom? <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video of me reviewing fake knockoff Legos that I got on eBay from China. And they took forever to get here. They took about a month to get here, all of them. But they got here, most of them. Some of them didn't. But most of them did. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments. We let you know what we thought about them, sitting right here. And be sure to like, if you liked it, and subscribe. And leave down in the comments what you guys want to see me buy next and review on the channel here on eBay Unboxed. It's just, I only ask you to keep it within reason. I said on the other, the other videos, don't, don't ask me to spend like 50 grand on something on eBay to review. I, I just don't have the credit card capacity for that. Not yet anyway. But if you have any ideas for anything within reason, like I said, go ahead and leave it down in the comments and I will more than likely consider Not it and possibly like buy it button. and we can review it right here on eBay Unboxed. As Not always, I'm your button. host, Joey. That's right, smack the like button and subscribe. That's what he's saying. I'm your host, Joey, and this is my side host today. Go ahead and tell me your name. Ashton. Ashton, that's right. All right, and thanks for joining us on eBay Unboxed. We'll see you next time. Now, how long was that?